What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Philly ES with back to you with another video and today we're going to learn how to bag a ES350. At the end of the video I'm going to go over some maintenance I do to protect my lines and everything. Also I'm going to tell you on some situations where I made a mistake and stuff happened. Shit broke. Okay. So right now I'm just going to show you the setup on how to do it and how I ran it and everything. Okay. I'm also running 3P, airlift 3P um, for management and I'm running air force suspension for my bag. So here's my trunk setup. Now I sand down the spare tire area because the compressor is noisy. So this helped dramatically with the sound of the compressor. Now this is your compressor. It pumps air into your tank. This line goes to your tank. And at the end of the video, I'll show you on how I ran it to the tank. This is your management, which can controls the air to each bag. As you can see, there's lines coming out. This is your water trap that self water self traps the water that comes out of the tank. And I made it come out through this little spare tire area, this little grommet. So this is one line. And then also this is the line that uh, comes from the management straight out the vehicle now now my left back left lines that go to each bag on the left comes out of the vent that's in your driver's side of the vehicle and they run to each bag and my passenger bags the lines that go to the passenger side comes goes through this grommet that's on the passenger side now you can't see that now that grommet, I just slid a hole in it and ran each line through it. So we're going to start in the rear. Okay. Now, the line that came out of that vent goes straight to the rear bag. Okay. Now, that's one line. The other one goes along the fender liner and out through here. I'll show you how that's ran. So, to get the rear suspension off, um, you have a 12 million millimeter bolt that goes to the brake line and a 10 millimeter bolt that goes to the brake wire. Now on the knuckle, you have two 19 millimeter bolts, one right here and one right here that goes to the knuckle. And on your sway bar, your sway bar link right here, you have a 14 millimeter bolt that needs to come off. And that's basically how your suspension comes off. Oh. Now, and behind the rear seat, you in the rear seat, you have four 12 millimeter bolts. Let me see. You have four 12 millimeter bolts that's on the bottom of each seat, okay? On the bottom of the seat, you have four of them one, two, three, and the fourth one's on, on the far end of there. Now, to get the top hat off of the rear. To get the top hat off, which is up there, to get that off, you have three 12 mils that go on the shut tower, on the shut top. top. And that's how you get the wrist suspension off, okay? Now let's shoot up to the front. Now for the front, it comes down here, runs along the side skirt, and it's tucked between the side skirt and the frame, okay? There's this little cover on the ES350s. So I tucked it between here. So it runs all through here, alongside of the side skirt. And comes out of the fender liner right here, okay? And that's how I ran it to the front bag. As you can see, it's connected over there. Now for the front is a little easier, okay? So for the uh, knuckle, you have two 22 millimeter bolts, one right here, one right here, okay? For the sway bar, you have a 17 millimeter nut. And then for the brake hose, you have a 12 millimeter nut, okay? Now for the top hats, uh, get up. For the top hats, you have three 14 millimeter bolts. Okay, one right here, 
one right here, one right here, okay? So that's what you take off for the front suspension, and it's basically the same on the other side, okay? Now we're gonna get into running the wiring from the management to the battery and the management to the controller. So for the battery, I ran it along the driver's side, and for the controller, I ran it alongside the passenger side. It's along the front of the vehicle. As you can see, it goes behind the carpet and straight out around the uh, steering column and straight out that grommet where there's a grommet that the main hose, the main harness goes through. So it goes through there. That hose comes out that grommet straight around and straight to the battery. Okay, so now we're on the passenger side of the vehicle. Now I ran it the same way I ran the left side through this little pillow right here. It goes straight from the rear of the vehicle. Straight to the front of the vehicle. And it runs alongside of there and up through there. And um, as you can see that wire runs alongside of that, of this panel and comes out. I removed this cover right here and it comes out right through here. And it goes straight to control. Now, I got this from ProClips USA to hold the airlift controller. It works great. I hit bumps, never comes off, holds it. It's sturdy. Um, it moves, so you can move it. And, you know, it gives a great vision so you can look at the pressures and everything. So now that you've seen on how I ran my air suspension and the lines and the wiring and the management and the controller and everything. I'm just gonna go briefly on maintenance that I do. Um, I drain my tank once a week. So there's this line that you, you you run from the bottom of the tank, which is this line right here. So I uh, I drain that once a week. That's just so the water doesn't build up. And if you live in a cold area, um, you can your lines can freeze. So it's good maintenance to do and get accustomed to, to like drain it once a week, even if it's summertime. So you can be on that weekly drainage. So that way your lines don't freeze. Um, I've been on air suspension for a year. So um, I've had like three instances where something broke or something happened. And it was due to installation. Um, stuff that I didn't do right. Now, one instance that happened was this collar right here i didn't tighten it all the way so what happened was as i was driving in through time the collar loosened up and the bag started turning so when the bag turned it moved this walk the line towards the rim and when i hit a bump the rim, the rim and the line rubbed against each other and it caused the line to get a hole which aired me out so you know, when you're installing this, just make sure you double check everything. I should have did it and I didn't. So this collar was the cause of a problem. So just make sure you um, go through it, make sure everything's tightened and you won't have any problems. So that was one instance that happened. The other instance that happened was I didn't run the line long enough towards the front of the vehicle on the driver's side. So what happened was I fully turned and when I fully turned, the line snapped, which aired me out again. Now, you know, there's some, th that's one of the things with air suspension. If you're going to install air suspension, make sure you do it right because you can get stranded. Because the line airs out and your car is on the frame, basically. So what you want to do is make sure you have enough line, make sure you have enough play, make sure all the collars are tightened, and you don't run into any issues. Um, That happened about four months ago, and I haven't had an issue since. Um. It rides on clouds. I love the way it rides. I don't have any problems with it, the way it rides. Now, sometimes being that I'm on air, being that I'm on low profile tires, um, sometimes I hit a bump and you know, hop out your seat. But if you're on static, it's the same thing. Um, I love the way it runs. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a full shot of how the car looks aired out. Now, here's a video of her aired out.
Now, a lot of people were asking me what kind of wheels these are. These are Work Verzenia D3S. They're 19 inches. Yeah, that's all we have for you today. Um, on the next video, we should be putting in the Starlight Headliner. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you can, please give this video a like, a comment, and please subscribe. We have more things coming for the ES. Way more things. Thank you. And have a good day. And keep modding.